Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. My question is in reference to the offensive tackles coming back from injury. I believe they should have more players on the offensive tackles, I should say, on the practice squad. You know, if we had problems with the quarterback and the tackles. And lastly, I want to talk about this new kickoff scheme where here's more defensive ends than safeties or corners or receivers. You know, I think quickness, speed is, is a virtue. So those are my two questions. This dubious and hopefully get some clearness, clarity on it. Thank you. Appreciate you taking my call. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. G. Bush, there are a couple of tackles on the practice squad, but obviously you want two of those three guys to be healthy enough to play. There's a significant difference even between, you know, Jones and, and uh, Wills and Conklin and James Hudson, let alone yes. if you get back to the practice squad. Um, kickoffs are going to be interesting. I, nobody's going to know. Nobody is going to know until the regular season because nobody's going to show anything, in the, even in the preseason. Yeah, kickoff rule. Um, you know, Bubba Ventrone was on like Cleveland Browns Daily, and he, you know, they talked about, um, you know, what it, what could you expect to see in that situation? And he he talked about it's going to be a lot of copycat stuff. Um, you know, there is an opportunity for you know teams to you know, really excel in that position. And there's also an opportunity for you to, you know, give up some plays and give us some touchdowns. So he said, as a special teams coordinator, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be be the best of times, the worst of times to figure out what's going on. He said, there's going to be in the first few weeks, people copycatting and and doing stuff. So I don't think anybody knows what the, you know, honestly, that it's going to happen with the kickoff rules. Right. Um, I, I think we'll see some stuff. It might be the wild, wild west the first couple of weeks, but you know, teams are usually good to um, kind of button things up and to really take away some of that stuff, especially if it's kind of gimmicky. Um, and then, then, you know, everything will regress to the mean and, and, you know, you'll have to come up with a new way to impact the game on that side of the football in terms of, uh, you know, the offensive tackle situation, there just aren't that many big skilled, uh, powerful, uh, intelligent football players at that size. That's why generally speaking, those guys get paid a lot of money, especially left tackles, because it's a very rare position. Those guys, you can't grow them. They don't walk off the street. So I think the Browns are in a uniquely better position than a lot of other teams because they have three guys that, that they believe can be a starter. You found a, uh, you found a, a diamond in the rough, with Dewan Jones, he's a massive guy. I think he's penciled in as a starter. Jack Conklin, you can bring him in a little, little slower because he, he was injured, and I think he had multiple things going on with him and his injuries. And then you know, Jay Wills, you got you have him. He has experience at left tackle. So you know, for right now you got three good tackles or three tackles that could play in the league. Um, whatever level you you may decide who's better at what, which what, but they got three guys that have played some minutes in this league. And so I think that's a luxury. You know, one of those guys is not going to start, but, you know, you won't be in a position like you were last year where, guess what, you had to have somebody step in. And obviously DeWan did that and, and did it at a high level. Uh, he got injured. So you always want to have some depth, and I think the Browns have some depth at those positions, um, and, and they're, they're blessed to have three guys that they, they could potentially start.